Hi, my name is Mabel. I'm back at Tio's again and he's making my hair look really pretty again. Yeah, new color. New color. So Not too much of the length, but yeah. you want a fringe and a asymmetrical line. Always. Yeah. Okay, wait till so you can see how your current hairstyle is. And it's a long time ago, she has redid your hair. But they can find you on YouTube. Of course. On my channel. Let's start with coloring. Ik ga dadelijk alle vuur slaan en zo. Voor those who uh, start this video right now, uh, Merel had, had her first colored, so uh, that's why we start with wet hair. So now she's back from coloring after uh, 30 minutes. We rinse it out, put step two over the hairs for the protection system. Now she don't like short hair, so we're gonna work on long hair so. But first, of course, put on protection, cutting. And for those who watch the video right now, at the start, because I start with cutting, and when you want to see the coloring, you go to the back of the video. And in the end of the video, you see uh, all the products I used on the photo. Take out the chopsticks. Turn it around. Part the hairs over the center line. about two centimeters from the other line of the neckline. Pin the hairs up. I'm gonna do this cut with the hot razor of Ergo because then I don't have damage on the hairs. Start of course in the neckline. I can feel she has dry ends. Bent head a little bit to the front so I get a straight line to work on. Take off about three centimeters because then I have good hair again. The beautiful thing of a hot razor is that it travels very gently through the hairs without forcing anything. So you don't have to use force on it. Just set it on the hairs. Show you that in a second. Take a new line on it. First work all the lines till I get above the skull bone. Down. Watch again if I have a straight line to work on. Watch in the underlines where my guideline is. Go in with my knife. With the next line, I'm going to show you how I do this and how the tool works. You can see the underlines are darker of color. Bent her head a bit to the front again. Stay in co focus if the line is a straight line. See the guideline. Now I lay my knife on the hairs. I see it can just push it through the hairs. With and no, no force at all. It just travels very lightly through the hairs. Coming to my last lines. And that's above the ears. And then I can work at the lines to the front. Call the lines on the hairs of cutting. Watch at the guideline. Go in. And the nice thing of this tool is that it's that hot that it seals the hairs. And Mayo's hairs has, have a lot of history in coloring and everything. But she has still good hair. Thank God for jeans. Ah. Last line on the right side. First go to the center line. Lay the hairs on the protection cape. Watch.
much what I need to adjust. And adjusting you can do by first set head to the front, the underlines will come out, so you can see this. Just go with your knife on the fine parts that stick out. You don't have to be afraid to burn the cape because there is still water on the hairs. So, and when that's the case, you cannot burn the hairs. So now you can go to the front. Going to the front, part from the line of the eyebrow line, take the first part till behind the ears, hold my part that I cut and part it on the back so I know where my guideline is. Take the hairs to the front, watch at the lines, watch at the lines of the skull, go in, just let it slip on the line of cutting. My guideline is the underline, so it's laying here, so I go to that line. And Miro doesn't feel pulling or nothing because it yeah, slips through the hairs. Showing you how this knife flows. So watch the lines of the skull lines, go in, just let it flow. The sound is pretty satisfying. Yeah, a bit hissing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Take the hairs high up. Take a new line on it. Lay the hairs in the line of the skull lines. Watch again. Go in. Slice out. Dat is ook niet niks. Ja? Nee, dat mag dan ook wel. Ja. Ik doe me een beetje denken aan het geluid dat als je kaas aan het smelten bent. Ja. Nou, jij bent wel op de kaaslijnen vandaag. De whole day she's talking about cheese. Well, I'm a Dutch person, so. Oh, your family too, Speedy Gonzalez. And your mouse. Well, I'll take your wild cat. Well, it depends which person. Uh -huh. Okay, come sing to you, pussycat, pussycat. <laughs> Connect all the lines to the line of the underline. Come at the center of the skull. Lay it over the lines of the skull again. I show you that also from the other side. Go gently in and gently out. So we have a new ruimte gemaakt in chill room, brainstorm room. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, that I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hang it on the top in the ring. Idee. Heb je ook al een tijdje? Ja, ik al heel lang. Die wil ik echt gaan doen. Nou, take out this pin. Take the first part on the fontanelle. Know that she likes to have this side a longer line. So I take it over. I'm going to show you that also. So now this line she wants to have in a longer line to the side. But I also want to connect it. So I take this hair up, go in the line of the sides of the skull, watch till I get the lines of the top on it. 
gently go in. Take a new line on it. And she wants the fridge to walk like that. So take the hairs up, watch at the line of cutting. Watch the lines of the skull lines go in and cut it in the opposite line. You can get the best fall also on the hairs because I use the skull lines and shapes to give me this feeling and this cut. Come to the last line. Take it on this hair. If I lay it back, you can see the fall of the hairs. And when you lay it to that side, you have even a better fall. It's wonderful. Eh? How does it fall? Wonderful. I feel bad. Take a new line on it. Coming from the top. Tilt the front of the ear. Take hairs on the natural fall. Watch the line of cutting. It ends here. Take it down. And now I'll come in the same way as the other side, of course. I'm going to connect to the lights on the back, so I'll park me two centimeters behind the ear, clip the hairs aside, here's my guide length, so connect both lines to each other. Take one and a half centimeters more on the line of cutting. And by taking all the hairs to the front, you get the soft layering on the back. Go in. Get rid of the dry ends. Come to the last part. Again, take it to the line of cutting, take it over. Lay both sides to the front. The length is the same. Always at the front. So now there's no layering in the back, so I can create a little bit of layering, not too much. Because when you take the hairs to the front, this should be a layering, but when you watch it on the ends, it's the same length. So when you want to have a layered hairstyle, you take also the hairs a bit from the top to the sides. Knowing that the underline is the line of cutting. So get it into a straight line. I don't need much layering, just a little bit. But I'm also certain that all the hairs that need to be cut are cut. And I slipped it again in the underlines of the hairs. So there's my guideline. Hold the hair straight. Watch the lines of the skull. Go out on the line of cutting. Do this on both sides, of course. Take the hairs over in the front line, watch in the underlines. Do a 
Ich habe es schon Tick on the top line. Go in a half circle. On the top. This is mostly the driest part because go stand in front. Lay the hairs to the front. Watch over the center line of the nose. And gently take off only the dry ends. And make a nice soft line on it. Don't force anything. Don't lean on the blades. So now her haircut is ready, so now I can dry her hair. Hotse flats. Hotse flats. Hotse flats. Oh, lekker. Lekker. Hotse flats. Dat is dat. Dat is een beetje een Take of Lanza, zero weight gel. Spread it all over my hands. Apply it on the hairs. Massage it gently in. And then, of course, I take my Olivia Cutter brush again and spread it all over the hairs. You can see this is nursing the hairs also because when you watch the hairs, she has also a bit curvy effect and because the product is that good, it stimulates also the natural uh, waves and everything that's in her hair. Yeah, you best of feel uh, slack. Yeah, best wel. Best wel. It's a little bit Als mijn haar zin heeft en niet pluizig Ja, het wordt vlug pluizig, hè? Ja. En ik hou er niet van om veel werk te doen aan mijn haar. Nee, dat is ook vervelend. Dat moet ook niet willen. Met lekker veel laagjes hoef ik er niet zoveel. Nee, ik heb je bijna niks gegeven. Nee, gewoon lekker. Er gewoon heel veel haar voor je zit. Ja, gewoon lekker knallen met je handen. En dan uh, goed. Ja, hij snapt het. Ja. Take a large brush. Start in front. And also the nice thing of a thermic tool, a hot tool, is you never get stuck in the ends because they are sealed and they stay closed for more than four months. So it brings happy customers. So far blur drying, now I take the iron on a not uh, too heat position and polish the hair also. Get the hairs uh, for an iron, I take a Lanza brush through hairspray. Parting again over the center line, onto the skull bone. Set the hairs aside. The latest uh, Kione style tool. Make a photo of it. Put it also into the video. Take the hairs together. Put the iron on 140 degrees Celsius. Watch behind the iron. If the hairs are closing, and I mostly do this one time because 
otherwise you heat up the hairs too much it can create damage on the hairs so take the parts that didn't do come this take my iron put it on the hairs watch behind the iron what's happening and lay it in the shape I want the hairs to lay so do all the hair like the cast uh, the cat uh, so it does it good yeah um, wait it heat it now again yeah uh, good over uh, Ik moet de hele tijd denken aan een kat die rond zit te hebben. Ja, So far, the eye. Show you the eye, by the way. This is the controller, and this you use by turning. So it, it makes it a lot easier than with pushing on the blades. Now on top of that, because it's still winter time, so we have a lot of static uh, energy into there, I take off uh, Lakme a polish to bring a small amount on the hairs. Take my leafy garden brush again. I thank Melo for being my model. I thank you for watching. Take out the cape so as you can turn around and show you the end result. We see each other next video. Wait a minute, love. No, oh, I'm still in the no, way of it, the video. It's, it's the bye show. bye. <laughs> She's too fast. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd like to have a new color and uh, of course a nice trim on my hair. Start with coloring. I'm going to use uh, colors of uh, Kin. First uh, pin up the hairs. Uh, I take of course the towel. Then the protection of coloring. Put the photo of the products I'm using into the video. I'm going to work with two colors. She wants to get into the natural lines. So I take uh, a, light, a, a color near to her own color and a dark color in the underlines because you also have to cover the reds. The colors are a 634, 6 base, 5 base, 5, 5, 3. It's the dark color in the underline. Put on my own protection, of course. The nice thing of the plastic foil is that I can work on it. Take a leafy garden brush and brush first the hairs. Put a step one into the line and when I rinse it out, step two of the glint protection system. Put also a photo of that product into the video. Starting in the neckline and building up. Part of the half of the head. And for those who like funny colors, you have to watch back at her videos because she had a lot of colors. Take two bolts, one with a light color, one with a darker color, so I know which one is the dark color and which one is the uh, lightest color. Take the hair up, start in the other line. Colors of kin are parabene free. They don't come with a smell. They just yeah have a friendly smell. Not you don't even get tears in your eyes or something like that. You don't have to cry <laughs> applying the color. We can ze beetje omdraaien dat het kunnen zien. Ja, dat gaan we zo doen. 
spread the hairs with a comb. Make sure there's enough product on the hairs. Take from the right side one half centimeters on the line. Turn it so you can see what's going on. So from the half till behind the ears, still working the dark color. And the colors in the underlines you see, she gets active with conditioners. So when they fade, you use conditioner to color the hairs in a bright, trendy color. It's also possible now when there is a darker color on it. So do all the hair. So making sure all small hairs are also into the color. I have both colors on a hair. Take off my cloths. Take a small part of carton wick. Gonna work. wait for 35 minutes. Then rinse it out. Then put step two on it. So don't go away. Because now you're on the end of the video, so you can see the photos of it. That's how the system does, huh? Yeah. So, we'll be back.